Okay, so you've learned a little bit about multiple regression, linear regression that is, and you've still run into this problem where we have some fields that are not numeric, they're categorical, and you're not sure you want to include them, but not sure how to in a linear regression. So for example, uh, occupation, we've got five values here. There's no way to convert this to some ordinal list. We did that with education in a previous video where we treated uh, let's see, partial high school is a 1, high school is a 2, partial college is a 3, 4, 5. Um, and who knows if that's better than uh, treating that as a categorical field. So let's talk about and show you how to handle categorical variables. Let's pick one. First of all, uh, let's stick with this numeric data and let's recall and review the importance of education when we treat it as a numeric variable. So right here, education numeric it was not significant when we included all of the uh, variables together and this is when we treated it as right here uh, ordinal so let's treat education as a categorical variable and see if it does a better job of uh, explaining whether or not people purchased a bike so here's how we do it we need to create dummy codes yes that's the scientific name for them dummy codes so Basically, dummy codes are a way of treating each value of a variable as equally weighted um, separate values. So we take the total number of um, possible values for that variable, and we're actually only going to need, we're always going to need the total number of variables minus one. But let's go ahead and make a variable for now for each one of these five. So insert a column here. Uh, insert couple insert a couple more okay so we have five new columns and let's name these to represent the different values of education so I'm gonna call it edu uh, we'll do partial high school edu high school whoops obsessive compulsive city uh, compulsivity whatever that word is gotta have it lowercase there high school there we go edu partial college edu bachelors no, that's fine edu graduate no all right so what i want you to do is come over here and sort by education so it's going to sort it alphabetically which means it's not going to be in the proper order in terms of one two three four five but that's fine and what we're going to do is, is each one of these variables is going to represent they're going to be binary like home ownership or purchase bike and it's going to be, it's a true, false, yes, no value, where we're basically going to say, does this person belong, do they have a partial high school degree or not? One if it does, zero if it doesn't. And then same thing for each of these. This person has a bachelor's degree, not partial high school, so we're going to enter zero for partial high school, zero because it's also not a high school degree, zero, it's not partial college, one, it's a bachelor's, zero, it's not graduate. And for speed's sake, go ahead and select all of those, double click when you're hovering over this lower right corner here so it automatically copies that down so this fill is represented by five fields now and we treat each of these uh, as a yes no value that way each one of these will be app and we're going to analyze all five of these in a regression model as different variables so let's scroll down now to where we uh, make it through all the bachelor's degrees to graduate degree and change this one to a zero for bachelor's, one for graduate, whoops, one for graduate. And we only need to copy these two variables down. Double click that, there it goes. So these people are not, you know, a zero for not partial high school, not high school, not partial college, not bachelor's, one for graduate. And then just keep doing the same thing all the way down through the data. Grad, uh, let's see, now this one's high school, so zero for graduate, one for high school, double click that down, double click that down. Okay, down to the next one, partial college. We're going to make that a zero for high school uh, and a one for partial college. Select both of those, copy that down. Okay, let's go down to the last one, partial high school. Here we go. So for this one, change this to a zero, partial high school to a one. Uh, copy that down. I guess I could just select all of them again, but oh well, copy that down. I think that's all of them. There we go. So we take any categorical field and we take 
uh, add a new column for each one of the values, but we're only going to end up ever using for uh, one less than the total possible values for dummy codes, and I'll show you why here in just a moment. So uh, let's go ahead and add, while we're at it though, let's add another field. I think region would be useful. I'm going to cut, paste this one right here, and region we have three values, so I'm going to go ahead and make even though we're always going to need only the total possible values minus one, I like to go ahead and make a column for each possible value because sometimes we'll run different analyses and use uh, different combinations of those dummy codes, and I'll show you why in just a moment. So let's make this one region Pacific, region North America, region Europe. All right. Same thing here. We're going to sort by region. These people are European, so I put one for Europe, zero for North America, zero for PAC. Copy that down. And scroll down to the next value, North America, which is now a zero for Europe, one for North America. Copy those two down. Keep going. There is Pacific, oops, right there. So I make it a one for North America, or zero for North America, one for Pacific, copy that down. All right, now the only other thing here, remember a limitation of Excel is that uh, I've got to have all my independent variables together. So even though we made a prediction calculator in a previous video using these weights, let's ignore them for now. And I'm going to move homeowner out here to the end of all these numeric variables. There we go. So I can include them all together. Oh, not homeowner. Sorry. Idiotic here. What I meant to do was purchase bike. Okay. Now we're ready to start our regression model. Data. Data analysis. Regression. Okay. Y range is purchase bike. Control shift or command shift down. X range. Now, one limitation of Excel we haven't talked about yet is that it can only handle 16 variables at any time in a regression model. Now, that's not a problem with the regression formula. That's an Excel problem. So there's other programs out there that'll do regression for you that can handle uh, 100 variables if you want it or more. But for Excel, let's see how many I've got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, 17. I've got one extra. Let's, um, I'm going to take out marital status for now. I'm going to make this E2 just because it can't handle that many. All right, I've included labels. Let's go ahead and make the output uh, somewhere over here. So there's our previous correlation. Um, you may not have this one. I ran another regression. I think I'll overwrite this one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's, I'm going to overwrite it right over the top of that one. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Uh, input range contains non-numeric data. What did I do? Let's take a look. I've got labels. Oh, right here, X range. That needs to go to, let me start that one over, E over to T and down to 1002. So I've got E2 to T 1002. All right, let's try that now. Yes, it's going to overrate that range, no problem. Okay, let's see what it did for me here. Okay, here it is. So my R squared over here, my R squared with my original model was 9.25 or 26%. Now I've gone up because I've included, even though I dropped home ownership, I've included some other variables in the model. Now, I've got this problem right here. We can't calculate a p-value, and it gave me a bunch of zeros. So the reason why is that uh, I have zero variance. These five variables account for all of the variance in education, and the model is over-specified. So what I need to do is remove one of these values 
and whichever one I remove is going to be treated as the baseline. So what I want to do is remove, and notice right here with region, it, uh, it went ahead and defaulted the Pacific to zero and kind of treated that one as the baseline automatically. It can't handle it, uh, dummy codes for all values of a variable. It, this is why there always has to be total number of values minus one. So if there's five values of education, I only need to put in four dummy codes because, check it out, I can determine that someone's a graduate even without having this graduate field. For example, if I eliminate this, I'm going to hide it for a second, then I already have, by a combination of all four variables, I know someone is a graduate if they have zero across all four of these variables. So if I use this combination as the determination of their, of their education status, then all I ever need is four, because one here means they're bachelors, one here means their uh, partial college. One here means their partial high school. I'm a little out of order, it looks like. One here means their high school. But if I ever have zero across all of them, like right here, if they're all zeros, then that means it's graduate. So I don't need another column that has a one in it to indicate that they're graduate, because I can already tell this, po this uh, combination of variables already accounts for the variance or the, the, the graduate, it indicates that someone's graduate because they're all zeros. Same thing with, re with region. I don't need all three. If I just have, let's treat North America as the baseline. If I have um, a zero for Pacific and a zero for Europe, like right here, I don't need this middle column to know that it's uh, North American because these two will be zeros. So, if you still don't follow me, just trust me. I'm going to unhide this. I'm going to, oops, unhide that. I'm going to treat partial high school, because it's the lowest one, as our baseline. And I also know that partial high school has the lowest uh, income. We've looked at that earlier. So I'm going to delete that. And I'll treat uh, North America as our baseline over here. I'll delete that. So by deleting those variables, now I have enough room to go ahead and include homeownership back in the model again as well. So I am going to, let's see, uh, my y, uh, my dependent variable is no longer u, it's s. Oh, fine. s, my independent variable range is also slightly different now. By deleting those, it's going to be purchased by Europe over to marital status. And let's output to the same spot that we did before to overwrite that model. Oh, do I have an overlap? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, this shouldn't be D to R2. It should be R2 to R2. Wait, is that right? Let me double check. No, it should be S to S. Oh, I, I see. I changed the wrong one before. Let's redo X input range, grab marital status, go over to R, there we go. Now output, yep, go ahead and overwrite it, not a problem. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I overwrote it to a bad spot, I should put it right here. Yes, go ahead and replace it. All right, my R squared has gone up even more because I was able to put um, home, uh, no marital status back in the model. Let's take a look at these. So I still have this issue here. I wonder if I messed up my codes a little bit. Um, this shouldn't be a zero. Let's start by looking at this one. Pack uh, or region. Um, actually, no, we're going to have to fix this problem before that'll work. Let me check my dummy codes and see if I messed this up here. Uh, I'm looking at education. Let's sort by education. Okay. And I have bachelors right here. I'm just looking at these variables right here. I got bachelors, and that's what education is set to. That's correct. Then I've got my graduate right there. That's correct. Then I've got high school over here. That's correct. Partial college right there. I must have messed one up. 
then partial high school is zero across all of them. That's also correct. Oh, I know what it is. I no longer need education in the model. I've got the numeric version over here that I forgot to take out. I am going to move this out of the way because this is also, it's, a, it's redundant. It's perfectly correlated with the combination of those other variables. So I'm gonna move this over here out of the way and let's rerun our analysis now without including education. Uh, so instead of starting at D2, I'm now starting at E2 to R2. So I skip education, start at marital status, output, uh, no, not to that spot, output to a different spot. Right here, let's try that again, here. Okay, go ahead and overwrite it, we're good. There we go, that looks more like it. So R squared is up to 12%, still very significant as usual. Let's take a look at our p-values now. Change that to number instead of general. All right. Region, Pacific, very significant. It makes a difference. Uh, and what this tells you is that being in the Pacific is different from being in our baseline of North America, which we didn't include in the model. So in particular, this number right here, because it's positive, says that people in the Pacific are going to be more likely to purchase bikes than those in North America. Same thing in Europe. This one's also, this coefficient's also positive, but it's not significantly different. Okay, let's take a look here. By using partial high school as the baseline and eliminating that dummy code from the model, each of these will interpret these as differences from the baseline of partial high school. So people with a graduate degree are slightly more likely to buy a bike, but it's not statistically significant. Uh, next, partial college, and, oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing, sorry, you guys. Right here, it's not statistically significant, let me bold that. Partial college is the next uh, highest difference from partial high school, also not statistically significant. Bachelors, next highest, uh, we call this partially or, or marginally significant. It's above 0.05 but sometimes when it's between 0.05 and 0.10, we'll still call it uh, somewhat significant. But then right here, high school. People with a high school degree and uh, nothing else, that's the biggest difference from those with no high school in terms of purchasing a bike after controlling for all other variables. And that one is significant. So before, education wasn't significant, but we recall from this model right here, take a look, education, not significant. But by breaking it out into its dummy codes, now we find out, well, wait a minute. Um, there is a difference when we're talking about looking be between partial high school and high school degrees and partial high school and somewhat to a bachelor's degree. So by using the dummy codes and treating education as categorical, one, we get much more detailed information about who's actually buying bikes. But two, we get a better R squared value, bigger effect size. We do a better job of explaining whether or not someone purchased a bike purchases a bike when we treat education uh, categorically. And something like region, where there is no way to, to transform it into an ordinal variable like we did with education, um, we're actually able to include categorical variables by turning them into dummy codes here. All right, come and talk to me in class if you have questions.